so when it comes to the 21st century, I believe that the modern day man has it very difficult because he has to be successful, he has to be attractive, he has to be funny, he has to be all of these things in order to attract, quote unquote, the right woman. But, fellas, listen up, and this is especially for you guys, girls, you can also tune in and watch the entire video from start to finish. Today we're going to be talking about three red flags to avoid in all women. So, gentlemen, if you're looking for that one, if you're looking for a for a trustworthy, loyal girl, you're gonna wait, want to pay attention to these three red flags. Now, if you are new to the channel, I'd like to encourage you to please subscribe, violate the post notifications bell next to it, and as per usual, no long intros, strap on your seatbelt, let's get the ball rolling. A few hours later. First thing, or the first red flag that I always tend to notice is the particle. And irrespective of what people say, irrespective of the experiences you guys have been through, most men and most guys will tell me that they don't like dating a party girl because they believe they party for attention. They party for the validation of other men. Because think about it. I know, you know, you want to let loose everyone now and again. You want to have a girls night. That I completely understand and that we as men completely understand. But the fact of the matter is, is that you have a man that supposedly you care for. Yet you go out every single weekend to party. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f*** is that? Yet you go out sometimes during the week to party. And the best thing is that normally you don't share your experiences. Normally what they do is they go out with their girlfriends, right? Have a blast, get drunk. They can't remember what happened. And it ends up being a whole mess. It ends up creating trust issues and rifts in that whole relationship. So guys... You know, we as men, I think, are biologically programmed to look for the loyal woman, to look for the woman, you know, who stays in tune with the feminine side, who understands, you know, the responsibilities of being a grown-up and that life is not a party every single time. Like I said, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but fellas, if you're looking for, for a really good girl and a, and a loyal woman that will suit you, me personally, I wouldn't go for the party girl because once again, she's in the club, she's dancing, guys are approaching her because 99% of the time, she's seeking validation and that is the unfortunate truth. She's not getting validation from you or she's not satisfied with the validation that she's getting from you and now she's going out to seek it in other men. So be careful with going for the party girl, guys. Don't say I didn't warn you. Let's move on. A few moments later. So the second red flag is something I like to call status symbol syndrome. See what I did there? But anyway, guys, social media has become, I think, the pinnacle of the 21st century. It's become a place where we not only conduct business, but where we compare ourselves to other people. And it is this comparison with other people that is, you know, making a lot of women fall in that trap because she scrolls through Instagram and she sees this model who's in much better shape than her, who's much better looking than her. And she thinks to herself, I want to be that good looking, right? She ends up changing her whole personality. She ends up using the relationship or using the situation, whatever it may be, as a status symbol for other people to say, look how great my life is. Look how happy I'm, I am with my man. Look at what we're doing. Look at the vacations we're going on. And ultimately behind the scenes, she's not really happy because she has to use all of that as validation to make her feel better about herself. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit. So be careful about the woman who constantly, constantly, constantly uh, posts on social media. And I'm talking provocative posts. I'm talking posts, you know, her in a lingerie, her in her underwear, whatever it may be. You know, I think I have nothing against body positivity for women. Absolutely support it. But they, they, there comes a time where you have to draw the line. If you are in a committed relationship, how would you feel if your man took it off his shirt, he's well built, and he showed the whole world, he showed all of the world's social media? I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying ban it from social media. I'm not saying drop social media completely. But be considerate of your partner. Be considerate of how that man may feel if you do that, right? If you post something provocative that other men will comment on, that other men uh, will kind of indulge in. Hacker man, he's the most powerful hacker of all time. So, yeah guys, just be wary, be very careful. 
I would say is a very fine balance to be had here because there's nothing wrong with having a strong social media following. But there's also the thing of, if you're loyal to me, I don't expect you to kind of go out of your way to satisfy the millions of people who don't really matter on social media because it's not a real world, right? Social media, I say it once again, social media is are the highlights of people's highlights. Nobody shows you the tough times. So be careful, guys. Don't say I didn't warn you once again. And let's move to the last red flag. Now, the final red flag I've heard a lot of guys speak to me about is the woman who only has guy friends. She always tells you that I'm better friends with guys because guys are less drama. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Listen, gentlemen, we've all been through this. We've all been in the situation. Ultimately, what it ends up being uh, is you're finding yourself in a situation where the best friend has feelings for her and then starts interfering with the relationship. Many, 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 many of my friends who have spoken of have gone through this exact same situation. I'm sure you watching have also gone through a similar situation. Ladies, there's nothing wrong with having guy friends, but oftentimes it's very, very hard to go about a platonic friendship without certain emotions being involved. And that's where you have to be very careful. You have to distinguish between guys who are platonic friends and guys who have the incorrect intentions. So not only is it the responsibility of the guy to ensure that the friends don't interfere, but it's also a responsibility of the girl to make sure that her friendships are truly platonic and that there's not any type of, you know, uh, foolery involved or any type of emotion involved in that. So it's a two way street. But generally speaking, from the trends I've seen, from the trends I've experienced, a girl who tells you that she only has guy friends, red flag, please get away from that as soon as possible. Three big red flags you should avoid in women, guys. There are a lot of others that I can mention in this video, but we'll have to do that in a part two or a part three video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.